Now the V-twin, it's only been running for about a minute and I can tell you it's red hot. If I was to go down here and feel this actually fins on this head, I would burn my hand. As a matter of fact, we actually added these cooling fans right here to actually go across the actual cylinder heads to keep it cool because it's a huge issue. Welcome to this AMS oil tech tip. That's right, we're talking about cooling fans, cooling systems. Now on a car, you may have a couple of coolant fans like this located right in front of your radiator, pulling it from the radiator and also your AC condenser. But what a lot of people don't realize is sometimes they may not come on. You may just start your car and it'll be fine. You need some what's called enable criteria for them to run. You can turn your air condition on. Once you do that, well, your coolant fans are gonna start to run. You can get up a little bit of pressure with the AC system. They go in a little bit higher. Now also, temperature is a big factor. You come over and your car starts to get hot. Once it does that, the coolant fans are gonna come on. So when you're looking at them at the front, make sure your car meets the criteria to make sure they're gonna run. Now Len, inside that cylinder, man, we're talking about 4,500 degrees. That's a liquid cool engine, but man, on that V-twin, we're firing, we got nothing but those fins. That's uh, wreaking havoc on that oil. It is, it's extremely hot. And with a cooling system that uses water as the medium, you kind of have an advantage. It's easier on the oil. Liquid cooled bikes, easier on the oil. Cars, they're easier on the oil because we have that water carrying that heat away. In the case of an air cooled engine, such as the one on that Harley, all of that heat is either carried out directly through the cylinder to the atmosphere or it's carried it by the oil. You got a demo for that, which is unbelievable. Check this out. You guys shot this right here. Yeah, what this was, we ran a test. The oil temps are somewhere in the neighborhood of 300 degrees as we're draining the oil out of this motorcycle. We took away all the cooling air and we ran the bike in a situation where there'd be no air across those cylinders. So it put all the heat into the oil. This is a good test to show that the oil is actually holding up and providing protection for that engine. Now, how am I going to keep that big beast cool? Well, you're going to run a high quality synthetic such as our AMSOIL motorcycle V-twin oil. That's going to be your first line of defense. After that, just make sure that you know, you're maintaining all of your service intervals, keep the bike up to date, and that'll take care of you. You just saw the oil temperatures that your engine has to adore. You know it all starts with a great base oil like AMSOIL. For V-twins or any other engines, find the best at AMSOIL.com.